Hi there, this is Hans with Network Engineering. This is the last step in this series. Um, we're adding traffic input into the model. So here I'm looking at the editor. Uh, there are two roads uh, already put in. Uh, principally, it's kind of like a road input based on TNM. So we have uh, this is one of the roads from the uh, east coming in. Uh, so we need to rename that. That's from east, from east, from east. And uh, we have traffic information. So here we have on the right hand side, we have the coordinates, the elevation of the ground, uh, and uh, it's which is the same as this, the surface of the, uh, of the ground here, of the, uh, of the road. And then wherever you see a, a, a red line, our numbers with red, we have changes in terms of the input emission of the traffic. So here we have, uh, whenever we click on this little red uh, calculator, uh, it's a TNM uh, calculation of the emission. Uh, so we have here 80 vehicles in the peak hour, in the morning uh, rush hour, uh, cars coming from uh, the east. And um, we have inputs in terms of the traffic, uh, automotive, medium, heavy trucks, buses, and so on. In this case, it's all cars, automotive. And in terms of the speed, we can define the speed. In this case, 30 kilometers around 20 uh, miles per hour. So we click OK. Uh, the next uh, input is right here, where the speed changes from uh, to 20 kilometers or about 50 miles per hour inside the parking lot area and uh, we probably can actually uh, lower the speeds uh, some more in this area and go down to uh, 10, 10 km per hour speed limit or, or speed used inside the parking area. Uh, then uh, the speed changes again uh, at the end of the parking lot when it's going back on the uh, public road. At this point, uh, it's going up to 30 kilometers an hour, and uh, that's the input. All of the uh, pavements was based on the average uh, grade uh, asphalt. We can use other inputs here, and uh, I'll click OK. The other road input is uh, this section, and that is uh, from west. So parents coming in from the west and uh, in terms of the traffic volume, uh, we have again speed 30 kilometers, traffic 120 from uh, the west. And uh, so we can go down in here and change it also again to a speed of uh, 10 kilometers within the parking lot. Click OK. And then again, this is changing up to uh, 30 kilometers. It should go up in 30 kilometers or up from here on. We need to change it back to 30 kilometers per hour. Right? So we can save that and uh, we can calculate that. And I'll calculate that here uh, with the uh, relatively big uh, spacing of the uh, grid spacing, uh, just so that we can kind of get a, a quick preview of the results. I'll click OK and we uh, do a quick uh, calculation, start. <clears throat> so first the point receivers and uh, now the contour maps uh, with the grid spacing of 20 meters. Of course, this is a relatively uh, big spacing. Uh, in terms of this uh, video, I just want to get uh, quick results. Uh, notice here the uh, several points are inside buildings, but the uh, edge points of each of the grid uh, may be outside. So the program will actually calculate the uh, points on the outside of the building to represent the uh, predicted level for each grid point. So depending on where the point f falls, if it's inside the building, uh, the program tries to see if any of the corners of that same grid point are inside or are outside the building. If they're outside, then additional points will be calculated outside. Here we have the estimated time, uh, 2 minutes 11 seconds uh, total, and uh, about 1 minute and uh, 10 left until this is finished. If you notice, this is a uh, matrix calculation, so the program 
tries to see if there's any interpolation possibilities. Uh, so it goes starts with a 9 by 9 matrix, calculates the corner and the center point. If it's within a certain uh, uh, parameters, it interpolates. If it doesn't meet these parameters, it goes to the next smaller grid, a 5 by 5 grid. If that doesn't work, it goes to the next 3 by 3 grid. And if, uh, if the noise field is too active, it basically calculates each individual point. And this is uh, what it's doing right now for each point right now. It's calculated. So there are two more grids left here. After this calculation is finished, we'll take a quick look at the uh, emission table to see the input uh, document for the road, the result tables, and then the uh, graphic plots in terms of the contour maps, and then also in terms of the uh, single receiver results. All right, so we go first in the emission table. So here we have two uh, documentations, the road inputs. So here we see like, the road inputs for both directions with the different speed inputs. Uh, so 30, 20, 10 kilometers, and so on. And then also in terms of the indus industrial sources, which are the uh, HVAC systems, uh, the power levels, and the relative spectrum. Then on the result tables, we have the contribution for each receiver, every floor. And then for every uh, day and nighttime level, and we also have the spectral contribution again for each of the time periods. In the graphic plot, uh, actually, before I finish, uh, let me finish here on this table. Any of these tables can be copied into a clipboard or exported into a um, text file, and then again, you can import that into Excel. Um, let me go to the graphic plot. So here we have the graphic plot of the area. Uh, right now it's not showing the aerial bitmap because it's turned off in the editor. So I can turn that on and go back into the graphic plot. So here we have the aerial map in the background. Again, all these receivers um, with the uh, respective uh, predictions. Uh, then on the grid noise map day, we have the contours. Um, here again, increases here in the parking lot due to reflections. We have a little bit of a shadow zone around the building. And then, of course, here now, due to the um, road input, we have a lot of noise along the road, or like the noise level increased. Um, I want to like, uh, mention here we have a grid spacing of 10, uh, 20 meters. So we have uh, certain um, like island effects or aliasing effects, uh, depending on where the grid fell uh, behind the building or right next to the road. So these effects would disappear if we recalculate with a smaller grid. Uh, if we change the grid spacing from 20 meters to 2 meters, uh, the calculation time will go up from 2 minutes to about uh, 1 hour, uh, because the number of points uh, would increase uh, significantly uh, up to like uh, two th 20,000 uh, points. So here this is the, the daytime and here again at the nighttime level. And again, the nighttime level uh, only includes the uh, noise from these H HVAC systems on top of the roof. Uh, this ends the uh, <coughs> the uh, the uh, sound plan essential version two uh, preview. Uh, we'll set up additional projects in the coming weeks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know if you have any suggestions. Thank you.